and the Innocent Criminals coming up. Our first guest tonight is a Victoria's Secret model. That's right. She was also Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue cover girl. And now she is number one on Maxim's Hot 100 list. Let's just shut up and bring her out. Here she is, the untouchable Marissa Miller. Marissa. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Boy, what a year you're having, huh? I know. You're like the A-Rod of models. MVP <laughs> season for you. I'm kind of shy about it, actually. It's a little embarrassing. But, like, this is a big deal right here when you got the cover. This is, like, a big secret. Nobody really knows. Yeah. This is a highly coveted position for a supermodel to get. No, I mean, it was my dream come true. And now you're number one on the, uh, on the Maxim 100 deal here. Yeah, I wasn't even on there last year, so it was a big shock. You debuted at number one. Yeah. What's your take on this whole thing? I went through this, uh, this uh, Maxim uh, Hot 100 last night al alone for a while, and <laughs> I got a few discrepancies with this list. You do? Yeah. Britney Spears, God bless her, she's at number 19 on the list. 19, with a photo from many moons ago. <laughs> Sitting comfortably at number 82 on Maxim's list, that's right, Penelope Cruz is at 82. Yeah, Penelope's amazing, yeah. But you know what? I this mean, is crazy. With, with How did they determine this list? Although you're a fine choice for number one. <laughs> now that I'm sitting right here. No, I, I think with these kind of lists, it's, I don't know if it's a popularity contest, but, you know, I'm really into sports. And to really be competitive, I think maybe we should do something athletic, like just, you know, do some one-on-one -on -one basketball or something to what do you make mean, the it, girls in yeah, this? Yeah, just because yes, it's this not, is a great how idea. do you compete with... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us talk. Let us work on this. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Have all for the... women to be competitive, I don't really like, you know, it to be competitive because we're pretty or something like that. I agree like with that. that. This shouldn't just be that. Right, so it should it's be like, physical. Exactly. So we could do like. So we get 100 girls. Right. This is a show on NBC now. Or we could do like um, football. We 100 do, girls play yeah. football in mud. <laughs> and then you just grab each other's clothes and like, and, but the, let the strongest one be at number one. Right, because guys, would... you have sports and it makes it, you know, more of a competition in that way. So it's kind of funny being set up with women to be competitive about what, I don't know, you know. I don't care. This is a great <laughs> idea. This is a great, great show. I'll mention that. And you would do well. you fight. You would beat up all these girls. I, I'm very athletic. I, I'd be down, so. All right, good. Make it interesting, at least. Um, and what else is going on with you? How, how's everything with the, the Victoria's Secret deal? That is that just the best job in the world? Is there a downside to that at all? Do you have a bad day with that crew? You know, honestly, they're so amazing to work for. They're the most talented people in the business, and you get to travel to these amazing places, and they become like your family because you're traveling all the time and you're alone. So they, they really become like your family on the I can't road. imagine that the travel always just goes well and it's just easy for you. There's got to be some tough days. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have like a love-hate relationship with the traveling just because, you know, flying is a little... You know, I don't know if you've ever been on small planes, but I've had like some scary, you know, situations where I was going up to Mammoth and um, I took a Cessna from Santa Monica Airport to Mammoth. And Bad the idea. first small thing plane. the pilot says to me when I get in the plane, he said, you're, you're a, hot. you're a, <laughs> <laughs> No, he, he said, you're a brave girl taking this small plane all the way up right. there. And I'm kind of thinking like, okay, I was fine until you said that. And then we start going up there and it's really windy. He starts sweating and like wiping his palms on his shirt. And he really? turns around, yeah, he turns around and looks at me and he's like, if you're going to throw up, just tell me and I'll find something While you're in you. the air going to Mammoth, yeah, which I'm, is like in the mountains here Yeah, and I'm looking at him going... I'm fine if you're if you're okay. Like, don't talk right. to me about throwing up. So we had to. He said, you know, I can't land here. We have to land somewhere else. And I'm like, like a field or another airport. Like, I don't know what. What, what do you mean land somewhere else? And he has a paper map out. Like, we're on the freeway or and something. And you're in the air. Yes, we're in the we're in the air. And my iPod battery died, and so I don't even have my music. And I'm just like, what? Where? Oh, what do I do? Right. You know? What did so, you do? So we landed in the next airport. And you didn't then, vomit? <laughs> no, I, I Thank didn't. Thank God, that'd be a weird image. No, <laughs> no I, was, I was fine. And then we had to hitch a ride. Really? Yeah, back to Mammoth. This is not the life of an angel, <laughs> of a Victoria's Secret model. No, it was pretty. Don't you fly uh, private planes? Yeah, so that doesn't, yeah. It, 
Victoria's Secret, we were shooting the swim book on an island, and it was hurricane season, so a hurricane was coming. So they said, we got to get you guys off the island. We're sending a plane tonight. All, there's another good TV show. All the hot Victoria's Secret models are stuck on an island? <laughs> Yes, Hold we're, on. we're all in our swimwear with Ooh. nowhere to go. Let's just yeah. work in the mud there, too. <laughs> a muddy island. There's 9,000 of you. So, so, oh, so you, they, they had to come and rescue you. Right. So, so you're they, in your bikinis, you're on the beach, you're stuck, and the plane comes. What happens? <laughs> so they tell us we're going to take a, a flight at night because we just needed to get out of there. Before the storm comes right. in. Right. And normally you don't take small planes at night. Never. And I don't know if you've ever had a situation like this where you just have kind of a gut feeling that something's not right. I so do like, every night here. <laughs> <laughs> So the whole way to the airport, I'm just like, I don't know, it's really windy, there's lightning, it's just not right, you right. know, and I just have this bad feeling. So I'm standing on the runway, and there's not an airport, you're just like on a hut, it's like a third world, you know, kind right. of place. So I'm watching the pilot come in, and it's really dark, and he touches down and then disappears. Right. And I'm like, where did he go? And, and the guy on the ground said, oh, he took Touch back off. Yeah, and I said, I don't think so. And I look, and the plane is tipped over in the grass. What? And the pilot comes out, and he looks at me, and he's like, I just popped a tire. Uh, can you help me pull the plane out? And then what? we'll change the tire and be on our way. I was like, no, I'm going back to the hotel. You have fun. I'm like, I'm You have a better odd of surviving the hurricane. I, exactly. That I, was the private plane? Yeah, he popped a tire, was flipped over in the grass, and was like, just right. help. help. He wanted me to help him pull the plane out. Of course he did. He wanted you to do anything. I was like... Well, yeah. By the way, that guy planned this thing for like a month. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to pick up Marissa Miller. I'll just land the plane, Funky. I'll have to stay the night. We'll have to live through the hurricane together. I'll stay at the same hotel. It'll be great. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty gnarly, so. Oh, boy. God, we could just talk for hours. I have to go. Um... The Vans shoot, I also want to mention quickly, I know we got to run, but this is the ad, you have a, the Vans line? Oh yeah, um, in, in July, I came out with the... Are, are everybody looking here? Their shoes are down here, there you go. <laughs> when, yes. By the way, when aren't, you, when aren't you in a bikini what, in your life? What percentage of your time are you not in a bikini? Well, I'm in lingerie too, so maybe like 95, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, but the Vans shoes come out um, in July in Urban Outfitters, Fred Siegel Barney's. Um, but I'm really excited about that. I am too. Uh, Maxim's <laughs> top 100. This is why we have to go. It's on newsstands now. The vans come out whenever you said that. Always good to see you, Marissa. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Mr. Miller, everybody, we'll be right back with Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals right after this.